Now we will move on the interoperability demonstration for the STM32WB55 using ZigBee with third party products. Interoperability is crucial when integrating devices from various manufacturers into a single ZigBee network. In this demo, we'll showcase how the STM32WB55 can seamlessly communicate and operate alongside other ZigBee compliant devices from third party vendors. This highlights the STM32WB55's flexibility, ensuring that it can be used in a wide range of ecosystems, from smart home applications to industrial automation. By the end of this demo, you'll see how easy it is to achieve reliable, interoperable communication with the STM32WB55 in multi-vendor environments. As part of our interoperability tests, we'll be showing three demos that illustrate how you can easily build products using proven known solutions. For this particular demo, you will need to download the project from the STM32 Hotspot GitHub repository. Once downloaded as a zip file, extract it into the applications folder of the STM32WB55 stack. Make sure to review the readme document included in the repository as it outlines the prerequisites and setup required to get the demo up and running smoothly. This application demonstrates how to use the STM32WB55 nuclear board in various configurations, showcasing different real-world use cases. The flexibility of STM32WB55 allows it to operate in different roles depending on our application needs. The configurations are controlled through the app zigbee.c file where you can easily select the role or functionality you want to implement. Now let's go over the configuration options. First, light switch on of client. This configuration allows the STM32WB55 to function as a zigbee light switch sending on and off commands to a zigbee enabled light bulb or other devices that support the on-off server role. Light bulb on-off server. In this mode, the STM32WB55 behaves like a ZigBee light bulb that can be controlled by a ZigBee light switch or other clients. Third, thermostat. This configuration enables the STM32WB55 to operate as a thermostat, providing temperature control and monitoring features to other ZigBee devices in the network. To select one of these configurations, you will need to modify the settings in the app zigbee.sil file. Each configuration is represented by a defined statement which you can toggle to enable or disable a specific mode. For example, the device is set up as a light switch on of client. If you want to switch to another role, simply change the respective defined to 1 and adjust the others to 0. Once you've set the desired configuration, you're ready to pair the STM32WB55 with commercially available ZigBee light bulbs or light switches. In order to pair with these devices, you'll need the ZigBee Light Link Layer Master Key. This key is shared among all devices that support the ZLL profile, enabling secure communication within the ZigBee network. It's distributed by the Connectivity Standard Alliance, also known as CSA, under a non-disclosure agreement. Acquiring this key is essential if you plan to integrate your STM32WB55-based setup with off-the-shelf ZigBee light bulbs or switches. Once you have the ZLL key, you can seamlessly pair your STM32WB55 with other devices, allowing for full interoperability. With these configuration options and the ability to pair with commercial ZigBee products, the STM32WB55 provides a robust platform for building a wide range of IoT applications, whether you are creating smart lighting systems, home automation devices, or energy management solutions. The STM32WB55 has you covered.
In this demonstration, we are using third-party Zigbee enabled products from IKEA to test interoperability with the STM32WB55. These IKEA devices allow us to simulate real-world scenarios where you can easily connect and control Zigbee products from different vendors using the STM32WB55. You have two options for connecting the IKEA Zigbee products through TouchLink or Zigbee LightLink ZLL. Both methods are widely supported and ensure seamless communication between Zigbee devices. Let's now walk through the process of setting up and controlling these devices with the STM32WB55 using different configurations. First, button functions. There are three button functions that play important roles in this configuration of the STM32WB55. Switch 1 toggle. In the slight switch configuration, where the STM32WB55 is set up as an on-off client, the SW1 button, which is switch 1, is used to send a toggle request. This command is sent to the on-off server, which in this case is a light bulb. Pressing this button allows you to remotely control the state of the light, switching it on and off as needed. Switch 2 is factory reset. This button is critical for resetting the device. When pressed, it deletes all persistent data from the flash memory and resets the STM32WB55 to its factory settings. If the NVM support option is enabled, the device will attempt to restore the previously saved configuration from memory. This includes rejoining the Zigbee network that the device was previously connected to. You'll notice a short blink of all the LEDs on the board indicating that the reset is in progress. Switch 3 Join Network The Switch 3 button has two key functions. A short press allows the STM32WB55 to join any available Zigbee network, making it part of the larger Zigbee ecosystem. On the other hand, a long press of Switch 3 initiates the TouchLink commissioning process. TouchLink is a method of connecting Zigbee devices by bringing them physically close together to form a network quickly. This method is often used in smart home setups where you won't want to easily pair devices without going through a more complex network setup. Now testing the setup. Once the devices are configured, you can see the STM32WB55 in action both as a remote switch and as a light bulb. Now we will see the demo. In the first two demos, we saw how easy it is to pair your IKEA Zigbee devices with the STM32WB55. Once everything is set up, the STM32WB55 can act as a fully functional remote switch to control your Zigbee light bulbs or even as a light bulb itself. These interoperability demos demonstrate the flexibility and compatibility of the STM32WB55 showing how well it works with third-party Zigbee products to create a cohesive smart home or industrial IoT solution. Now let's take a thing step further and build a more complex setup. In this next demonstration, we will integrate an IKEA gateway into a Zigbee network, allowing us to control multiple devices from a centralized point. The IKEA gateway adds another layer of functionality, giving you the ability to manage and control a variety of devices all from a single app, making it ideal for large-scale home automation or more sophisticated industrial setups. Setting up the IKEA Gateway Now to begin, it's crucial to first set up the IKEA Gateway. This device will act as a central hub, allowing multiple devices to communicate and be controlled from your phone or other smart home interfaces. The setup process starts by connecting the IKEA gateway to your network 
via an Ethernet connection. Ensure that the gateway is securely connected to your router and that the network is stable. Once the physical setup of IKEA Gateway is complete, the next step is to install the IKEA Home Smart app on your smartphone. This app serves as the control interface for managing the entire system, including adding new devices, creating automation rules, and controlling your smart home setup. After installing the IKEA Home Smart app, you will need to create a room within the app where your devices will be grouped. This organizational setup allows you to manage different devices across various rooms or zones, making it easier to control them individually or as part of a larger group. Now let's add a third party product to the network. In this case, we'll be connecting the STM32WB55 to the IKEA gateway through the app. Once the STM32WB55 is in pairing mode, open the IKEA Home Smart app and select the option to add a new device. The app will begin searching for nearby Zigbee devices, including your STM32WB55. As the IKEA gateway scans for devices, you should see traces appear on your terminal window. These traces help you monitor the pairing pause process, providing real-time feedback on whether the STM32WB55 has been discovered by the gateway. The traces will show communication between the STM32WB55 and the gateway, allowing you to confirm that the device is being identified correctly. Once the device is found, the app will display it as an available device. From here, you can complete the pairing process by following the on-screen instructions. The STM32WB55 will now be part of your Zigbee network, controllable through the IKEA Home Smart app just like any other IKEA Smart product. Once paired, you can control the STM32WB55 as either a light switch or a light bulb depending how it's configured. The app allows you to control it just as you would with the IKEA's own smart bulbs or switches. This shows the true power of interoperability where third-party devices can seamlessly integrate into your existing Zigbee network, all managed through the IKEA gateway. This setup is not limited to basic on-off functionality. You can add more complex automation rules such as scheduling lights to turn off on or off at certain times or even setting up scenarios where multiple devices react to a single trigger. For example, you could set up a rule that when one light is turned on, others in the same room automatically adjust brightness or color. By integrating the, by integrating the IKEA gateway, we've created a more robust and a scalable solution where multiple Zigbee devices can be controlled from one central point. The STM32WB55 has proven its versatility by integrating seamlessly with third-party products, allowing for a highly customizable and flexible system. Now that we've gone far over the setup, let's dive into the demo. Watch as we walk through the process of connecting the STM32WB55 to the IKEA gateway using the IKEA Home Smart app. You'll be able to see the real-time traces on the terminal, helping us track the pairing process and see how easy it is to manage your Zigbee devices from one centralized app.